Marine Captain Brian Iglesias went from Marine Infantry Officer to award-winning film director. He was at the Combat Center Sunset Cinema during the screening of his film Chosen to tell the story. You earn the title of a Marine, you inherit a legacy and a reputation that has come through the sacrifice of your, our forefathers. And Chosen is one of the biggest battles in Marine Corps history. It's one of the most decorated American battles. We just figured it would, it would be meaningful to us and important for everyone else to do a film that's never been done before. A few Korean veterans attended the screening and received a standing ovation from the audience after the film. I think for the Korean War veterans, they're going to take away the idea that we haven't forgotten. You know, they call it the Forgotten War, but we call it the Forgotten Victory. That they saved a country that has gone from the second worst economy over 60 years to the 10th largest economy in the world and that they, their sacrifice meant something and it was important. Marines learn about Chosen during basic training, but now they have a new perspective on the battle. It's a very uh, touching movie to actually see what happened uh, to the men that fought at the Chosen and see the different things that they had to go through, the different trials and tribulations that happened to them while they were uh, fighting uh, that battle there. You, you know, you see things like that and you know, what are the limits of the man's endurance? Iglesias has been attending screenings of the film all around the world, but he says this event had a special significance for him. Uh, it's, it's just been a remarkable experience to come here to 29 Palms with 7th Marines and all the rest of the base because, you know, 7th Marines played an important part in the Chosen battle in all of Marine Corps history. It was just remarkable to have the great support from the base and all the Marine centers. Really, it's a, it's a very significant moment in the history of this film and to have the Korean War vets come here to be honored, it was, it was perfect. I couldn't ask for anything better. The next step for Iglesias is a $100 million Korean War action film called 17 Days of Winter. Filming begins in South Korea in September. Reporting for the Combat Center, I'm Corporal Emery Traffy.